Hi guys, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel, Medicure Buddy. Once again, I welcome all of you back to this session in which we are going to discuss another topic of practice of medicine, which is a part of series of lecture of 25 days, 25 topics of practice of medicine, and this is going to be the next video. Osteoporosis, we discuss karna start karte hain, but before that, I want to inform all of you that please, 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 aap Medicure Buddy ko jaldi se subscribe kar dije because all of the topics that I have explained on this channel are solely with handwritten notes and aapke exam point of view ke liye ye saare topics bohat zyada important hain. To chaliye, hum discuss karna start karte hain, what is osteoporosis, thik hai? Osteo का मतलब होता है bone and porosis का मतलब होता है density में कोई भी चीज़ porous हो जाना मतलब उसमें density में कमी आ जाना ठीक है तो osteoporosis we understand this that osteoporosis is a procedure by which sorry this is a clinical condition in which the bones are decreased in density okay now, we are going to the definition of osteoporosis. Ki. So, all of you are very sure about the definition that we are going to discuss right here. And what is that? It is just the reduction in the bone density is known as osteoporosis, which is what we discussed earlier as well. Now, what are the risk factors that you need to keep in mind? ठीक है तो person जितने older age का होता है ना उसमें उसके bones में osteoporosis होने की chances उतनी बढ़ जाती है उसके अलावा post menopausal women जो हमारा estrogen होता है estrogen this protects us from osteoporosis okay this also protects us from coronary artery diseases ठीक है cardiovascular diseases and once this estrogen is no more present in our body or is diminished in the ratio during postmenopausal time then ये चीज बहुत ज़्यादा common हो जाती है alcohol smoking and low vitamin D की वजह से हो सकता है ऐसा body mass index की में कमी हो जाने की वजह से ऐसा होता है ठीक है जो क्रोनिक डिजीज होती है अगर कोई पर्सन क्रोनिक डिजीज से सफर कर रहा है तो उसमें भी आपको ये चीज ऑब्जर्व होगी अगर अगर किसी की फैमिली हिस्ट्री में ऑस्टियोपोरोसिस है या फिर कोई कॉस्टिकोस्टेरॉइड्स का ट्रीटमेंट ले रहा है तो उसमें भी ऑस्टियोपोरोसिस होने की चांसेस बहुत ज्यादा होती है ठीक है नेक्स्ट हम आ जाते हैं इसके कॉम्प्लिकेशन पर तो ऑब्वियसली अगर जो बोन है सपोज दिस इज अ बोन ओके एंड द बोन बिकम्स मोर पोरस now, once the bone becomes more porous, the tendency of its fragility increases. Okay? So, kya likha hua hai yaan pe? The fragility, fragility increases. And once the fragility increases, the risk of factor, sorry, risk of cancer also increases. So, both of these things are of extreme interest. You need to keep this in your mind. Next, hum aajate hain, diagnosis kaise karenge haan? So, we go to bone mass density ke liye jate hai, and we can also done, do the evaluation by T-score. Okay? And what do we do? If it is less than 2.5, so that obviously is a diagnostic of osteoporosis. Okay? Now, how do we do management? Karenge? Now, modifiable risk factors. If there are such things, then we can modify it. For example, that was obesity. For example, it was alcohol smoking. That was low vitamin D. So, you can manage all those things. You can go for the supplements of vitamin D. This will be better. Ho Proper dietary intake should also be maintained, which also is a very important management criteria. Okay? So friends, that's it about today's session in which we have discussed osteoporosis. I hope this video was very useful for you all. If you like video, please like this video. Our friends will share it with you. And in the next video, we are going to discuss gout. And if you don't want to miss it, please subscribe to Medicare. Hit the bell icon and see you in the next one. Till then, happy learning.